This is a GRE problem that is listed as hard. If you go to the official guide to the GRE published by ETS, um, and I agree, if you solve it the way they recommend, which is to solve the inequality, then it is hard. I just want to illustrate that you can attack this problem using numbers, as you might have guessed, because that's pretty much the theme in all of my videos. As always, I'm not going to say that using numbers is some sort of flawless technique. The idea is that plugging in numbers allows you to answer questions that you could not have answered otherwise. First number it occurs to me to try is x equals zero. Now what do I mean by plug it in? Well, the left hand side of the inequality gives us two minus zero and then we're not sure exactly whether or not x equals zero is going to satisfy the inequality. If it does satisfy the inequality, choices A, B, and D will be in the running because all of those choices have zero darkened. If it doesn't satisfy the inequality, choices C and E will be in the running because those do not include zero. Carrying on, I'm very careful to write the negative because you have to be very careful with negatives. Now I'm going to have 0 minus 5 over 3. Hopefully you recognize this as negative negative 5 thirds, which is positive 5 thirds, is 2 smaller than 5 thirds. No. It's not, because 2 is actually equal to 6 thirds. So that means whatever is correct will not include 0. So that leaves us choices C and choices E. Now the question is, how to distinguish between choices C and choices E. Well, let's plug in something like x equals negative 5. So we're looking at something like this. If x equals negative 5 satisfies the inequality, then choice E is the winner. If x equals negative 5 doesn't satisfy the inequality, then choice C is the winner. So 2 minus 5 times negative 5. We're wondering if that is less than or equal to 6 times negative 5 minus 5 over 3. 2 minus 5 times negative 5. 2 minus negative 25, that's 27. 6 times negative 5 minus 5, that's negative 30 minus 5 over 3. Negative 30 minus 5 is negative 35. But then we actually have an extra negative, so these will become positive. So now the issue is is 27 less than or equal to 35 over 3 and 35 over 3 is something like about 12 so no x equals negative 5 does not satisfy the inequality therefore choice C is the winner because choice C does not include 0, and it does not include negative 5. And those are the only ones that don't include 0 and don't include negative 5. Or C is the only one that doesn't include 0 and doesn't include negative 5. Now, I can also solve this inequality for you. I'm going to do that real fast. Uh, basically, 
first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of this 3 right here. So I'm going to have 3 times 2 minus 5x less than or equal to negative 6x minus 5. So I'm going to have 6 minus 15x less than or equal to negative 6x plus 5. Now, if I wanted to avoid dividing by a negative, which would flip the inequality, I'm going to move 15x over here and 5 over here. So I add 15x to both sides. And subtract 5 from both sides. To get 1 is less than or equal to 9x. Now when I divide by 9, I'm dividing by a positive number. So the inequality does not reverse. In the end, I get x is greater than or equal to 1 ninth, which certainly fits with choice C. I went through that pretty fast. The only thing to watch out for, really, when you're solving inequalities is anytime you divide by a negative, you have to reverse the inequality. I'm going to go back and, and show you what I mean by that. Let's say instead of moving 15x to the right, I'm going to move 6x to the left, and I'm going to move 6 to the right. So in other words, I'm going to add 6x to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So I'm left with negative 9x is less than or equal to minus 1. Now, when I divide both sides by negative 9, I've got to switch the inequality. In other words, I'll get x is bigger than 1 ninth, which is the same. These two are the same, just written in a different order. So there you go. GRE problems solve the easy way and solve the hard way. Hope you learned something.